Would you believe me if I told you that there are only four things you actually need for your baby's nursery? I am going to tell you what those four things are today and also all the other things that you don't really need. Now, of course, it goes without saying that you need an appropriate crib and baby mattress. Those are not included in my four things because those should be obvious. But I'm gonna talk about the four things that you may not be 100% aware that you need to have or you may have heard of these things and you may think that you don't need them when in all reality, like you 110% need these things in your baby's nursery and in your life. Starting with number one is the Yoga Sleep Dome White Noise Machine. I have used this since my youngest was, my youngest since my oldest was born and he is now nine years old. And before using this with my kids, my mom actually used this because she was always working from home before it became the cool thing to do. But she was working from home and she would have the white noise machine on to drown out the noise of having three kids. Whether you have a newborn or not, you should just grab one of these. But obviously this video is about your newborn nursery. You definitely need a white noise machine and you need one like this that is separate from an app or a device. Something that you can keep on all night long that has a consistent white noise sound. The reason why I actually love this one so much is because it is the National Sleep Foundation official sound conditioner. So this is actual true white noise and in other machines you're going to get fake white noise which you would be like, what the heck is the difference? There is so much information out there on the difference between white noise, brown noise, pink noise, all the different kinds of noise. I stick to the OG, the white noise from Yoga Sleep in the dome machine because it can be consistent white noise all night long and it's not gonna have that looping sound like the fake white noise does. And it's also, it's not those like rain effects or storm stuff or like whatever other different types of white noise are out there. Those are pish posh, you don't want them. You wanna get the Yoga Sleep white noise machine. The next thing that you want is going to be blackout window covers. Now, this is actually rolled up from my son's room, so let's actually go up to his room, and I'm gonna show you how these go on his window and how they make such a ginormous difference. Okay, so you can see he has two windows over here. His room is actually a mess, like he's making a fort <laughs> over here and his bed's not made and he has another window over here. That is where this blackout cover goes over. So I'm gonna show you that. Watch. We'll put his blinds up. Now they go up that easily. They fit perfectly on the window and you can see that the Velcro is all along. I mean, I didn't really put it up that great, but it's fine because you cannot see a lick of light coming in through these blackout curtains. And on the plus side, he can keep his regular curtains or his blinds that just he likes. You definitely need a set of these. And the best thing is that um, with this company, Blackout Easy Window Covers, you can customize the size of window covers that you need. So they do have general, like small, medium, and large, I believe. I haven't bought them in a couple of years, so I don't know if it's different. But with these two windows over here, they are, they are basically like the large size, I do believe, and so with those, they came already like the size of the window. With this one over here, it's kind of a funky size window, so I ended up getting like the medium size window cover, and then on the back, they have, it's kind of like graph paper lines, like chart lines, so you can actually chart out the actual size of your child's window, but that's enough about this, let's go back downstairs. Okay, so then the next thing you need, so of course if you have a newborn, you are going to want a sleep sack, and you want to make sure that it has like strong Velcro here because anything cheap and chintzy, your baby's just gonna break out of and it's not gonna be effective. Once your baby is showing signs of rolling over, you need to transition them out of a swaddle and put them in a sleep sack. So these are arms are out, they're free in the sleep sack. 
and they are not restrained anymore. The fourth thing that you need for your baby's nursery is less of an item and more of a temperature control system. So you want to make sure that you know what the temperature is in your baby's room. We honestly just used a freestanding thermometer, thermostat, whatever they're called. And we just, we went by that. We looked at it in the room and we knew if we needed to turn the heat up or add a layer or take off a layer or whatever we needed to do. Uh, we did, definitely didn't use anything fancy. There are definitely some fancy things that you can use. There's also a freestanding thermometer that you can put in your kid's room. I've seen it at Walmart for like $30. It's called the Kelvin thermometer and I've seen it at um, Walmart and Target and all those stores. And it's actually made by the brand Little Hippo who also makes the Mella toddler clock. Not that you need that information now, but this brand has some great new innovative products for babies and toddlers. Now the reason for needing to know the temperature in your child's room is kind of obvious, but you need to make sure that the temperature is between 68 and 72 degrees so that they are not getting too cold or too hot. And then one more bonus item that you might want in your baby's nursery is a video monitor. This actually is not something that I had with my babies because I knew that I would obsessively watch what they were doing. Like, I feel like I would be like, oh, Timmy moved. I need to go in there and see if he's okay. Oh, Kaya's moving. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go put her back to sleep even though she's not even awake. So if you know that you are the kind of person who might like obsessively watch on the video monitor and rush in every time your baby moves, then I would maybe opt for just an audio monitor, just kind of go old school with it. Just because there's super fancy video monitors out there on the market does not mean that you have to have it. So know yourself, know your limits, and know that you are going to know if your baby needs you. So whether you need a video monitor or an audio monitor, definitely just you know make that decision based on your parenting preferences. But it definitely is a bonus to have the video monitor if you're not going to obsess, just so that you can see what your baby truly is doing at bedtime. If you're interested in more information on baby sleep and surviving those first four months, I want you to grab my newborn sleep course. The link is in the description box down below. I talk about all things newborns from day one to month four and getting you through those first four months in, sur in survival mode. I hope that it is so helpful for you. I want you to have all the information and all the knowledge about babies and baby sleep before you're sleep deprived. It is so important to know what you're getting yourself into because I feel like there's a big gap between parent education on what to actually expect when it comes to having a baby and there's so much out there about what you need and what you need in the nursery and what you need on your registry and all of that stuff is just like you don't need it. You need the education, you need the knowledge, and you need to know the reality of having a newborn. So go to the link in the description box down below and grab that newborn sleep course and keep blooming. Mwah.